This is GumGum, an AI company which uses machine learning to read and analyze images, creating data sets which help businesses to identify ad placement opportunities. To demonstrate how powerful AI can be, GumGum devised a visual Turing test, which uses art instead of text. Well, this is exciting. What do we have here? So we were curious to find out how close a creative artificial intelligence can come from the creative human process. And we hired five illustrators globally and one machine called the Cloud Panther to produce those pieces of art. And we're given the exact same data set, meaning the same creative brief. And this is what you have in front of you right now. Why don't we walk through it and take a look at I each of like those. I quite like this. I like the colors and the composition. Well, you'll notice similar patterns and similar yes. colors being used. Well, so why were there similar colors? Was that in the brief? You could only use these colors in particular? Exactly. Right. And then they could choose the techniques they wanted. Like, I mean, this one, for instance, it looks like paint has been intentionally dribbled down on the top of the canvas. Right. Sometimes paint was used, sometimes it was used produced using Photoshop or Illustrator, so we use a variety of tactics and software to build those uh, pieces of art. Right. And I can see they're all quite different. I mean, this does look like it could be computer-driven, but to me, the one that looks like it has actually been done by a computer is sort of one of these two, and I'm sort of leaning towards this one because it seems like it's a bit more predictable, a bit more staged. This is the one that you pick, I think, produced by a machine? Yes. Well, unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> Believe to you. <laughs> this is actually the one being oh, produced that one? by that a machine. Oh, was one? That was one of my two. You right went there. close, so that was your number two. Mm. If you look at it very closely, you can see this sort of pen being dropped here. Yes. Which is not a natural thing for a human to do. I'm just seeing the face pop through now. It just looked like a series of shapes, but I'm actually seeing a face now appear in the painting. That's the irony. This one, out of all six, looked the most human. How detailed was the algorithm that went into the computer program for one of these pieces? Yeah, so the data set was made up uh, a dozen pieces that are pieces of art from American 20th century uh, abstract expressionism. And this is what was given to the machine and also the illustrators to work with. It's considered that the creative industries will be among the least disrupted by the fourth industrial revolution. But this experiment might just suggest otherwise. This seems to be indicating that the type of program we're talking about here could be hugely disruptive to the creative industries that are looking to save time and money. Right. I don't think it's intention of AI to be replacing or mimicking the human's brain. AI to me is really here in terms of augmented creativity. The role of AI is to help you becoming more efficient and more productive. Thank you for watching and for more from CNBC International, just hit the subscribe button.